This is the G5X Mark II. I'm filming on the G7X Mark III, and for the next little while, I'll be figuring out how good this is as a travel companion for some stills photography. So unfortunately for you guys, the G5X Mark II does not have a microphone input. So I'm sorry if the audio isn't great, but it is just the internal audio that we've got with this review, unless I'm using a different camera at any point. Um, most of it though is gonna be stills based anyway, so not too much of a problem. So enjoy the photography rather than the audio. The day is over and I've had a very hot, very hot tube and train ride home. So now I'm heading back for the weekend, but still got the G5X Mark II. So I'm gonna try and get some nice images and hopefully we'll keep a little bit of this sun. Although maybe a little bit less, cause, whoa, I, can't, I literally can't even see if I'm on camera right now. It's completely blinding. So I got home and I wanted to go for a little ride on my weird little scooter thing here. Um, I know I look like an idiot, safety first. But there's some amazing light over this field. It's absolutely stunning. So I'm gonna take a few pictures here before I retire the G5X Mark II for the night. So today is a new day, it's a windier day, so sorry about the audio, which you can probably hear that on, but I do have a fully charged G5X Mark II for us to have a play with. So I wanted to just do a quick little rundown of the specs of this camera before we get started. So to start off with, the design is very different from its predecessor. The G5X Mark I had a very miniature DSLR style of shape with a central viewfinder prism. This, however, has now got a pop-up viewfinder, so we haven't lost that feature, which is great. We now have a flip screen rather than a fully articulated one. We've still got really nice grip front and back for holding onto the camera, but we have lost the front control dial. We do, however, have the lens control dial, exposure compensation mode dial, and a manual control dial on the back too. Now, the internals of the camera are very similar, similar to the G7X Mark III. So we've got a 20.2 megapixel stack CMOS sensor, Digic 8 processor, and a contrast detect AF system. In terms of video, We've lost the mic input of the G7X Mark III, but that makes sense because that is more video focused. This is more stills focused. You can still do 4K 30p, 4K 25p, and HD up to 120 frames per second. However, you do lose sound and focus up there at 100 slash 120 frames per second, which isn't hugely surprising for this style of camera. Now, the lens is a bit different. We do have five times optical zoom rather than the 4.2 times of the G7, and it still runs through f1.8 to f2.8, so that's good, that's nice and quick. We also have a really good continuous frame rate with the G5X Mark II. So it can do 20 frames per second, up to 118 JPEGs. And it also has a raw burst mode, which allows you to take uh, 70 CR3 compressed raw files at 30 frames per second, which is pretty cool. So it's time to give this thing a test and see what it can do. The viewfinder is just perfect when there's so much light coming straight towards you, like it is here. So I've just popped the camera into macro mode so I can now get some nice close-up images of these beautiful purple flowers, make the most of that f1.8 to 2.8 lens, really throw out that background. So this is a really good place for me to show off the beautiful Canon colours that you get with these cameras. With the pink flowers here and the blue river behind, the greens, it's a really nice scene here. And actually the screen's pretty good at showing what you're getting. Oh my god, that's such a big spider. Such a big spider. Oh god, my god. It was on me. 
sorry about that. I am uh, irrationally scared of spiders. I don't know if that came through at all, but that was, that was what happened. So I was kind of hoping that a uh, bird of prey would just swoop in and I'd be able to try out all those continuous frame rates on the G5X2, but it hasn't happened. So I'm gonna have to go and find something a little speedy. However, before I do, as I'm walking back to the car, I thought I'd show you how I'm carrying the G5X Mark II. In my pocket, I told you it was pocketable. And as all ladies out there know, Tight jeans and ladies' jeans have useless pockets, completely useless tiny pockets, and it still fits. Win. So it's time to test out the continuous frame rate modes for the G5X Mark II. Now, there are three different modes for us to test out. So the first one is a low continuous frame rate mode, which gives you eight frames per second. You can shoot up to 320 JPEGs in that mode and you have autofocus. In mode two, you get 20 frames per second, no autofocus, and you can shoot up to 118 JPEGs. And then you have raw burst mode. And that allows you to shoot up to 70 CR3 compressed raw files at 30 frames per second. So good for real specific moments. Now we're gonna start off by shooting with the eight frames per second mode. And uh, I've acquired on eBay, just popped home, just acquired a, a motorbike is for the afternoon. And he is gonna drive towards me down this track and I'm going to continually take pictures of him as he gets closer. So, acquired motorbiker, please come forward. Now it's time for the faster continuous frame rate, so the high continuous frame rate, which is 20 frames per second. And I'm going to be using a basketball, I'm going to drop it down and uh, see what we can capture. So, I've just finished putting some dirt and soil and some grass down here at the side of the basketball court. I've put the camera in 20 frames per second and you don't get AF with that. So you can AF one shot right at the beginning, but you don't get AF continuously. And now, acquired motorbiker, please come to the side and drop the basketball in three, two, one, go. Okay, let's take a look at that sequence. Okay, so now I've changed over to raw burst mode where you get 30 frames per second. Come on, please drop the basketball again. And we're going 30 frames per second this time and we'll be able to see what difference this makes in comparison to the 20 frames. So, three, two, one, go. Felt very quick. I think I've finally run out the SD card. So my time with the G7X Mark III and the G5X Mark II has come to an end. Cool cameras to use. I thought, because I'm quite privileged in what I get to use at WEX, um, sometimes when you're testing out sort of compacts, sometimes you can find it a little bit frustrating that you can't get them to do what you want them to do. But these, I could. The G5X Mark II for stills, I've really enjoyed using actually, and having a viewfinder just really sets it apart. G7X Mark III, same for vlogging, having that mic input is so, so helpful. Now, if you need any more information on the cameras, there's loads on the website. You can check out our blog, pop into our stores, give us a call, send us an email, or put a comment below or above, depending on where you're watching this, and we'll try our best to get back to you with all the information that you need. But now, it's time for some basketball. And if you stick around, I'll show you just how skillful I am. Get ready for this. Motorbikist, thank you. You ready? Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is the sort of talent you get to see here at WEX. Can you please get that for me? Is Natalie in there? No. Damn it. <laughs> 